Hi, my name is Karen Fabian and I'm the founder of Bare Bones Yoga. I thought today I would begin a new series of videos called Yoga 4. And each time I do a video, it will be focused on either a different group of people or a particular part of the body. So I thought I'd start today with Yoga 4 Moms. I have a lot of clients who are mothers. They come to my private classes as well as uh, my group classes. And mothers uh, are of course taking care of little ones or older ones and they often put their needs second or third or fourth. And a lot of the moms I work with complain of very similar things, tight shoulders, tight neck, just a general sense of, of tightness in the musculature of the whole body, a feeling of being stressed and frazzled, and for many people, just a sense of losing connection to the body they used to have before they had kids and not really having time to fit in to their busy lifestyle, time for exercising, whether it's yoga or anything else. So I thought today I would do a short, maybe 10 minute or so sequence, focused on really staying close to the ground, stretching out the hips and the shoulders and the back, and giving you something that you hopefully, if you are a mother, can fit into your busy day. Of course, this sequence would be great for anybody as well, so feel free to give it a try, regardless of whether or not you're a mother. So to start out, if you do have um, a strap or a towel or a scarf, something you can use, that will be helpful for opening up the shoulders. And then a blanket, doesn't need to be a yoga blanket, it could be a blanket of any kind. Yoga blocks are great to have nearby as well. If you don't have cork ones, you could use foam. And if you don't have a block, you could use a thick book, although it's not ideal. So let's begin. First, coming into downward facing dog, setting your hands shoulder width distance apart, tucking your toes and lifting your knees off the ground. The length of your pose is completely up to you. The closer the hands and the feet, the taller the top, the longer the base, the flatter the pose, but you might feel a little more stretch under the arms and on the sides of the body. Here comes the dog. <laughs> All right, so begin by setting your feet at hip width, your hands at shoulder width. And if you feel like it's helpful to bend your knees so you can get a little more leverage off the floor, do that. And start out with about five breaths, stretching the lower back, lengthening the arms, pressing the palms flat, and just sending your gaze towards your toes. Then bring your feet together and lift your right leg up and bend your knee and turn the knee up and over. Stretch the inner thigh, keep rooting through your palms, squeezing your straight leg. Take a big breath and then lunge that right foot forward and put the left knee on the ground. You could also put the knee on the blanket if you'd like. Come a little forward in the kneecap, keep the front knee over the heel and reach up. Focus here on lengthening the sides of the body and actually relaxing the upper ribs so you don't puff forward so much. And take a couple breaths here. This is a great way to stretch your hip flexors on the left side as we're stretching here with the right knee forward. And then reach down and grab your strap and reach behind your back. Grab the strap with a little space between and roll the shoulders up and back. You could lift the chin a little bit if you want. And again, just watching how much you puff forward through the chest. And then release. Place your hands around the front foot and step back to down dog. Bring your feet together, lift your left leg, bend your knee, open the inner thigh of the sky and then lunge, same thing, left foot forward, back knee down, come up, set the left knee over the heel, lengthen the sides of the body without sticking the tailbone out and bending the back so much. Reach up, take a breath, and then releasing your arms, reach for the strap, grab it behind the back, roll the outer arms in towards the spine, Keep softening the upper ribs. Stretch front of the chest open wide. 
Take a big breath. And then release. Set your hands down. Press back, downward facing. From here, come forward to high push-up or plank. You could drop the knees here if you want, or you could keep the legs up. Slide a little ahead of the wrists, lower halfway, and then slowly down to the ground. Bring your arms by your sides, turn the palms down. Start to lift the chest, keep looking down at the ground, lift the hands and the legs. Spread through the fingers and toes. Take a full breath, and then release. Bring your palms flat, Set up your arms so your elbows are over your wrists. Press down through the tops of your feet. Hug the elbows in. Slowly start pressing down into the ground. Coming up so the shoulders are over the wrists. Or if you'd like, bend the arms slightly. Take the tops of the shoulders back. Take a full breath here. And then you could either roll back to down dog or stop at your hands and knees. Tuck the toes and then go back. Now bring your feet together again. Lift the right leg halfway up. Press the heel back. Lunge the right foot forward. Put the left knee on the ground or the blanket. Put the block on the inside of the front foot. Put the left hand on the block. Reach the right hand to the right hip. Start turning from the middle of the body first, then the right shoulder. The left shoulder is going forward. Now reach the right arm back and up. Focus on twisting from the middle of the body. Take one more big stretch and then release. Step back to downward facing dog. Bring your feet together again and lift your left heel up. Lunge your left foot forward. Drop the back knee. Place the block. Reach up. Bring the right hand to the block. Shoulder over the wrist. Left hand to the hip. Start the twist by drawing the right side towards your left thigh. Left shoulder back and then left arm up. Take a full turn open and then release. Put your hands on the ground. Step back as much as you can so you don't drag the foot. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Now drop your knees to the ground and come around onto your seat. From your seat, bring your hands to the ground with your fingers pointing forward. Boat pose. Lift the feet. Now here you could keep the hands on the ground, kind of finding that centeredness on the sitting bones. You could lift the arms up if you want or hold the back of the legs. Take a few breaths here and then release the feet. Wrap around the knees. Take a full breath. Exhale, and then one more time. Lift the feet up, lift the heart forward. You could hold again, back of the legs or hands on the ground. Take one more full breath, and then release the feet down and slowly lower to the ground. Once you're on the ground, set your feet at hip width. Bridge pose, lift the hips up. You could keep the arms by your sides or interlace the hands or use the strap. Press up through your hips, take a full breath, and then release down. Now take one of your blocks. Lift your hips up, slide the block underneath so that the flatness of the block is aligned with the flatness of your spine at the base, your sacrum. And then send your feet up to the sky with your heels over your hips and your palms facing the ceiling. Bend the knees a little bit so your legs have a quality of just dangling from the sky. And this will drain the legs so that when you're done with your practice, 
you feel a little more restored. And you could hold this as long as you'd like. You can also do it at the end of the day up against a wall without the block underneath you. After a few breaths here, bend your knees, come off of the block, bring the soles of the feet together, let the knees drop open wide, close your eyes, take about 10 breaths of rest. If you'd like to extend your legs out, you could do that as well. I hope that you have enjoyed this brief practice geared to mothers or really anyone who wants to fit a quick practice into the middle of their day or perhaps at the start or before sleep. Please visit my website, barebonesyoga.com. While there, sign up for my newsletter. It comes out every Monday. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Namaste.